Before we begin this battle between speed summoning rebels, I'ma let you know I use my ship for a quick trip to the Juju universe, but with this fancy looking arrow from a funky looking priest, and long story short, I now have my own personal stand. Comfort! But I can't think of a name yet, so I'ma ask y'all's help on that. There's a post up on my community page, so go comment a fitting name after you watch this video, and preferably follow the JoJo formula of having stands named after songs and musicians and stuff. The winner will get a shout out on my Join of Us Joker review. Now on to the reaction. Okay, so just so you know, I'm voting for Joker. Not only I cosplayed as him twice, as you can see on my personal Instagram page, not only is a fellow older woman loving twink and glasses, but I just think he's a cooler character, both in design, powers and story. Also, if my research is correct, and I pray, pray to god it is, like, because last time it didn't do much, he just packs much bigger stats than Giorno, can undo being away from existence, and resisted willpower manipulation stuff that I think should counter Jornos' golden experience and dead loop with no problem. So I'm seeing either a joker win or a tie, which not gonna lie would result in a pretty awesome team up. I'm noticing this battle is surprisingly short given the complications behind this matchup, you know, it's a very interpretation centered matchup a la Gojo vs Makima, which fittingly enough came on almost a year ago, how time flies. But yeah, very curious to see how this ends up. Now let's begin. Hey, nice Marvel. Yeah, uh, uh, look, guys, let it, this transition breathe for a second. Yeah, guys, this looks wonderful. And this looks wonderful as well. Why, guys, why don't you let your own network breathe a little? This looks awesome. What's the rush? I don't get it. Yeah. No, the models are back. Awesome. Awesome. I miss them, not gonna lie. Hey, that's my boy. When he witnessed an innocent woman being harassed and stepped in, he had no idea her assailant was one of Japan's most prominent politicians. And he also didn't know that it was the guy who stole the chick monks. Let's see, Rena Mamiya. Yeah, that's the name he has in the manga. No clue why it's different, but apparently that's a thing. 17. Likes. They included the best part in his likes, the very first, the most important part, he likes older woman, that's cool, that's my boy right here, that's my boy, <laughs> awesome, he has a man of impeccable taste, I love how they include, oh my god, I can't go over the fact that they include the best part, <laughs> they already got the Joker perfectly, it's only been 40 seconds, what the fuck, cats and burgers, corrupt adults, you know, the more I think about it, the Phantom team said the kids next door would get along really well. They both fight the tyrannical corrupt adults and such. Hey, that's his best friend. Ryuji. Oh god, no, no, not that one, not that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so how they, scale, how they scale the metaverse to Joker is gonna be very important to determine the verdict of this fight. And it's also gonna be a preview to how they scale Kratos, I guess, because Kratos vs. Azua is also a very a uh, lower based matchup in terms of how you interpret things. So let's go. They had a way to fight back. Yeah, I'll send. As part of the summoner's inner self, personas can become incredibly powerful spirits. This scene was so cool. I know a lot of people really hated the Persona 5 anime. I mean, it's my, it was my introduction to this series once I started to get into it uh, before watching walkthroughs of the games and I didn't mind it, honestly. Also, you know, uh, oh, I, I paused at the perfect timing actually. <laughs> You know, Arsene is also obviously named after the famous gentleman thief Arsene Lupin. And we have Jack Frost, Pixie, etc. Lucifer, Odin, Metatron, and Sataniel. It's very funny how Joker has a persona that's named after Satan, given how Giorno fights someone who's called Diavolo, which in Italian translates to devil, which that's fun. So yeah, the physical, the, they went over his elemental powers, the almighty skill, which bypass every defense. I hope that comes into play into the fight. And the will of rebellion, I, I read, is so strong that he can even undo his own existence erasure. And his death battle with Popeye and Saitama serves any memory. Existence erasure is a pretty big thing to come back from. I'm just saying. Odin and Jesus Christ. Wow, he looks way different than in the painting. 
<laughs> Even Jesus Christ doesn't seem that amused by whatever the fuck that is. Omnip I I've also there I've also heard the Omni Omnipotent Orb is also pretty damn busted, but I also seen people say it's a bit of a fraud object, but we'll see. Yeah. Joker's reputation in the metaverse, this prop becomes a god killer. Yeah. As the Phantom Thieves' reputation increased, so did their power, simply because that's how they were perceived. Kind of like how Personas are empowered by the social links Joker possesses with his friends. Yes, in the world of Persona, hanging out with your buds makes you stronger. Anime! Game! At their max, social links huh. can bring a wild card user back from the. Well, given how the power of friendship can defeat gods, uh, I, I wouldn't uh, mind that actually. Brink of death, instilling them with willpower greater than the rest of humanity combined. I guess Damn. gardening your friends like a sociopath has its benefits. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Have a cold one on me. <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, wait, uh, actually, it, it's a bit dodgy in real life, don't do it. But in the context of Persona, yeah! Millions of times faster than light. And this is faster than, I don't wanna hear it. This is faster than everything Jorno ever did. I'm sorry, I'm a bit traumatized from how confident I was about the Bardock last time, okay? This is faster than anything Jorno ever did. Please, okay? You in this? Thank the Nebula Sides Big Bang Burger. What has Jorno done beyond, be, be, besides rewinding time? Defeated the all those Lovecraftian things and survived the Valentine Day Massacre, oh, yeah. They also... wasn't that the the one all Capone survived? Uh, Joker is really themed after Thieves and Outlaws, eh? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. The biblical angel of yeah, that sounds a lot like Ghost Rider. <laughs> nice. You'll never see it coming. Okay, yeah. I I actually really really liked that breakdown for Joker. I feel like they covered everything. They covered all the major story story and character bits, his powers, the visuals, the editing was really nice. The gag with the wizard boomstick was actually charming. Yeah, I, I'm surprisingly very happy with how they did that. Now let's see about his opponent. As far back as he could remember, Giorno Giovanna always wanted to be a gangster. Cause damn it feels good to be a gangster. <laughs> damn it feels good to be a gangster. Of leaving horse heads in your enemy's bed, or squeezing their head in a vice till they pop. Ouch. Giorno wanted to be a different kind of gangster. A more progressive, metrosexual kind of mob. <laughs> <laughs> Did he just say metrosexual? I mean, I know he's zesty as hell, but I... I, I I actually don't know what his sexuality is like. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, that's one way to put it. Everyone in JoJo is zesty as hell, especially starting from this chapter of the story. Epic piano, yeah, especially steam music, drugs, corruption, pointless things. The biological son of Dio Brando and Jonathan Josta, don't ask. <laughs> yeah, because Dio had the Giorno when he used Jonathan's body, so he's kinda, he kinda technically has two fathers. So that that's pretty neat. They're very progressive of him. Oh, they're going to detail. Okay. This technically makes Jorno both a Brando and a Jojo. Nice. Gold experience. Here it is. Cooking Italian food. God damn, give me that one. <laughs> yeah, that's a great stand. Damage reflection, which Joker also has. Healing, Joker also has. Intangibility, which life creation creates implants. Life shot overloads. Okay, here's my question. If everything Joker perceives as true is true thanks to cognition, or cognito, or how they call it, if Giorno imbues Joker with a lot of life energy, wouldn't that strengthen Joker's perception of reality and thus actually work against Giorno? This may be... I mean, I'm throwing a shot in the dark, I don't know, because it would be very ironic if it would. Like yeah? A, a, banana, so a gorilla's worst nightmare. Here we go. The, he said it. Uh, he said it. It's very ironic how the father of one of the evilest killers in anime history has a power that relies on life so much. It's, it's really poetic, you know? Especially very Jesus Christy, I guess, if you keep going with that Diavolo metaphor I said earlier. Since uh, if Giorno Giovanna is a bit of a Jesus standing, he's fighting the devil, Diavolo, in Italian, that's the same thing. He's also the son of Dio. Which also confirms the Jesus Pilots, and I realized just now because Dio means God in Italian. There's a lot of language lessons in this episode. Turning his teeth into a special kind of jellyfish. 
Ew. Ew. Okay. What? 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 Inst interesting, so the body cannot keep up with the mind, so maybe... Would my idea work? Because Joker operates on kind of an imaginary scale in this separate world fueled by human consciousness. So we'll see, we'll see. This is just Ed Cannon. Forget about it! <laughs> Forget about it. Okay, yeah, I remember in Dio was Alucard they said these two are faster than light. Let's see how much. Which are faster than light. Okay, just faster than light. Okay. But have they done everything like anything regarding Big Bangs and universes? I don't think so. Here it is. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Did they just said what I just said? Come on guys, keep up. <laughs> Jesus Christ is the first Jojo. Yeah, I've heard this thing. I know it, didn't know if it was a meme or not. I guess it isn't. And this is... That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Flight, enhanced life beams, reduces... Okay, reduces any action or effect to zero, nullifies willpower, but Joker has resisted willpower nullification and alteration before. He managed to... I mean, he managed to, to undo existence erasure from his own consciousness. Th that, that's a lot. X independent time, X independent journal's command, can strike targets into an infinite loop, which I think Joker should be able to get out of, but let's see, let's see. Which can infamously skip time. Erasing the universe for 10 seconds. And Damn. Have negated that. Okay. That's the, okay, that, that, that is some universal stuff, I guess. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, okay, okay. I don't want to do another debunk video. <laughs> but, but, but still. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm starting to... Okay, let's see. Counter the stand made in heaven. Which can accelerate oh. across the whole universe into Okay, the... Oh, fuck. Eyes of Heaven scaling. Oh, fuck. 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 Why did I forget about Eyes of Heaven? <laughs> my god. I'm so glad that my avatar is smiling right now, because mine is looking... Uh, in real life, I'm looking at the roof. <laughs> uh. to infinity, so yeah. That kind of range of Requiem's ability is actually consistent. It also yeah. reduces your willpower to zero, so you can't... The Joker resisted that. that. That is not a prerequisite to be put into a reality loop. According to his stand profile, merely being struck by Requiem would induce it. But being struck includes a physical contact, and Joker can repel physical attacks. Right? Right? No? Okay. Let's see. <laughs> okay, uh, that's that's a very clever thing to tie in, you know, between the Mafia life of his journey as a mafioso and he can literally pull you back in infinitely, yeah, that's a nice joke. Negated the universe spanning time deletion. But they both negated the universe level stuff. I don't know, is it gonna be a tie? I'm, I'm very curious. The more this battle goes on, the more curious and scared I am. Well, actually, the curiosity and the sphere are kind of balancing themselves out, actually. Peacekeeping social organization he always dreamed about. Good for you. Nice. Okay, yeah, I, I know it, it's, it just said uh, Golden Wind in Italian, but to a lot of people it probably said some gibberish. <laughs> okay, but yeah, really, really nice breakdown. Again, great editing, great uh, jokes, uh, great character beats. Uh, I, I feel like I got a really great understanding of the character and... Uh, they explain these powers really well, also the stance, you know. I feel like if I, wa if I wasn't aware of either franchise, I would watch these breakdowns and I would become a fan of either one of those because I, I love this kind of stuff about, you know, the metaphysical concepts, summoning stuff and etc. I'm still rooting and betting for Joker and if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Let's just get on with it. Let's go. For the Phantom Thieves, for the Milf Lovers and the Twinks. Even though Jono is a fanboy and they deserve rights too, but still, for the twinks. It's time for a dead pedal. Oh, one, one last, one last thing, one last thing. I, I forgot to say. Since since Jono can rewind reality, I'm actually gonna wait until this video ends before I make any guesses. Because what if they announced the winners Joker and then and then they rewind reality to show they was just part of Requiem all along? I'm, I'm gonna watch this video until the last second, okay? until the la they announce the next fight, okay? Now let's go, come on. I already seen the preview, looks great. Gold Love this Persona style opening. Giovanna, your heart is and that is the same voice actor as Dimitri and Alex Mercer. They unfortunately couldn't get Xander Mobius, 
which is also the same voice actor as Joker in the games, and the voice Guts in Guts vs. Dimitri, funnily enough. But he's still doing a great job, and I love the death battles that start with the opponents already kinda knowing each other, James Bond vs. John Wick, or Homelander vs. Omni-Man. I know it goes against the rules of that battle, but it, only against, it goes against the rules. Uh, knowledge that can change the fight, and Joker simply knowing of Giorno, who's, you know, while good at it, he's still a mafioso, so, you know, smuggling and betraying and killing and stuff, and that's uh, still a no-no for the Phantom Thieves. So, yeah. Also, I have one more thing to say about Giorno, then I'll stop bowsing. Okay, first of all, he's sitting like his father, and he also the same kanji as his father, which is very worrying. Please, t take after y your good father, please. <laughs> and uh, he says Shocky Fantasmi in, Itali in Italian, which is my native language, if you could tell, which means uh, foolish phantoms, uh, basically, you know, calling out Bo Joker and his gang. But if you don't understand Italian, it also sounds like as if you said don't even touch me in a very, you know, aristocratic, pompous way, which uh, I'm not sure if that fits the character, but it definitely fits the vibe it's giving. I mean, look at this man. He's sitting on a throne made of gold. I mean, yeah. Bees. Not the bees. Okay. Nice. And this is the blue ends. Oh boy, come on, come on. Nice. Grappling hook. Not too early, dude. Too early. He's running already. Oh, okay. Interesting. This, the music is amazing already. I can't wait to download it. Oh, the good old fist cuffs. Okay. Oh, oh really? He's just getting jumped. Oh, Monokumas? <laughs> Ouch. Nice, I love the visuals. Look at him grappling around like he's Batman. You never took the time to understand my gold experience. <laughs> nice. Oh, oh, ouch, ouch. Don't don't do that, Joker. Ouch, ouch, stand rush, this early. The music is getting epic. That's cool. He thinks he's a persona, cool. Nice, I love the end one stuff. Oh fuck, 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 fuck. Joker, please, please, Joker, 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 please, Joker. Oh fuck, 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 fuck. That's bad. That's bad. Oh, he's pulling a sneaky one. Oh, like in persona, pretend to be dead. Okay, okay. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Okay, okay, Joker. Come on. Come on. Sataniel. Oh, nice. Callback. Simple shell. You can't survive that. Come on. Punch all you want. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. <laughs> nice. Yes, 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 yes. Fuck you. Ah. <laughs> ah. Okay. Zero experience, uh, okay. Stand there with treasure, nice. Ah. Uh. Uh, how, how much do we have? We have a considerable amount of time, I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, okay, okay, so, okay, they're gonna do... Oh, Joker took everything. <laughs> Joker took everything, <laughs> nice. I mean... This is my avatar first? No, okay, still here. Okay, that battle was awesome. It went by really quick. I was too hyped to probably enjoy some things, but I really, really liked it. The music, the visuals, the, the end run stuff. It, it felt short, but probably like Gojo vs. Makima, there's a lot to enjoy once you go step by step. But are they gonna do this uh, testing for every episode now? I don't mind it, but I, I don't know. It's cool, it's cool. Wasn't close, though. 
Yeah. But Joker and his personas were millions of times faster yeah. and could take on universe busters. Exactly. That's where Requiem came in and the game changed. With yeah. With ability to nullify any action taken against it, even ones that can affect entire universes, Joker's regular arsenal was rendered moot. Yeah. Remember, Requiem could act independently of time, so Joker wouldn't be able to avoid Requiem's ability. Yeah, ability. okay, okay, and fair. Peter still had an ace up his sleeve. While Requiem can reduce your willpower to zero, the Velvet Room exists outside the normal space-time and could act as a potential sanctuary for Golden Spin's Requiem, similar to how it saved the Phantom Teens from Yabaldushi reality warping. I didn't even think about the Velvet Room existing outside the time, so it doesn't matter what kind of Final Destination bullshit Dio's son pulls, come on! Social links were able to recharge him. And finally, we have Joker's almighty attacks, which could bypass reality warping defenses like the omnipotent orb. Yeah. The perfect counter for Requiem. Exactly. And this is actually backed up in JoJo. While Requiem only has one appearance in the manga, it did show up in the game Eyes of Heaven. There, yeah. It faced off against the world over heaven, which can overwrite reality to overpower any attack, including Requiem's return. Yeah. To so so Eyes of, oh my god, yeah, Eyes of Heaven actually proves Joker wins, it doesn't go against him. <laughs> awesome. Stronger and faster, mighty magic, more vers versatile, social confidence, walker powers, countered willpower negation, and jo <laughs> Oh my god, for all the hype and interpretation I've heard about this matchup, this is sad. <laughs> it will literally just ask GER. I even thought it was more tactical experience since you know he's a mob boss and everything, but no, he literally just has that and it doesn't even work. Uh, this episode, I, I, I'm not just saying that for the verdict, but this episode is so much better than Omniman vs. Bardock, I mean it. It went by fast, but because I was loving every second. Oh my, oh my god, <laughs> I didn't even realize it yet. Dio is such an awful father that his own blood, that, that his omnipotence ended up in the defeat of his own blood. That's, that's brilliant, that's brilliant. Brilliant, but Joker had the versatility, experience and almighty power for the yeah. final blow. Yeah, exactly. How much do we have? Okay, okay, okay. Opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The yeah, yeah. Is Joker. <laughs> this time he annoyed him. <laughs> that was awesome. I loved it.